One of the great things about the Xbox 360 is the ability to download TV shows, movies, and games from the internet, as well as play games online against other people. But you have to be hooked up to the internet for that to work. I'm Tom Merritt, editor from CNET.com. I'll show you how to connect your Xbox 360 to the internet. Now, there's two main ways to do this. The first way is directly using an ethernet cable. The other way is wirelessly using a Wi-Fi adapter. I'll show you the Wi-Fi way since it takes the most setup, but if you're using the ethernet cable, just plug it in directly to the back of the Xbox 360 here. And plug the other end into a home network router. For either way, you'll need a router, but for the wireless way, you're going to need a wireless router like this one. The wireless way means you'll need a Wi-Fi adapter. You can get this Xbox adapter for about 50 bucks. Plug the Wi-Fi adapter into the back of the Xbox. Now turn on your Xbox, mine's already on, and go to the setup screens. Go to the system area, select network settings, select edit settings, select wireless mode. Your router should have a name, also known as an SSID. Now, either your ISP will have given this to you, or you may have chosen it yourself when you set up your router. Find that name and select it. If you have your Wi-Fi protected with a passphrase, and you should, enter that now and select whether it's WEP or WPA. Again, your ISP should tell you whether it's WEP or WPA, or you may know because you set it up yourself. When prompted, select Test Xbox Live. If the test passes, you're on your way to internet connectivity. Go to the Xbox Live Marketplace and see what cool things you can download for free, or see our video on free stuff you can download for the Xbox 360. That's it for this quick tip. I'm Tom Merritt for CNET.com. Enjoy. For more video like this, go to CNET.com and click on CNET TV.